domestic cold water pipe sizing the very first step that you have to follow while sizing the domestic cold water supply is to draw the route of cold water pipes in which you have to indicate the droppers of the supply in this case if you see we have we have uh, lavatories these are showers and these are wc in wc the water is not supplied for the flushing with, with the wc we will be having one hand spray or a hose bib okay so for that purpose this water is supplied okay and here you can see we have a table for the minimum pipe sizes that means the dropper that we have drawn for individual fixtures will be having a standard pipe size so in that case we don't need to calculate them we have to follow the standard okay like for example for this lavatory the pipe size the pipe size it is showing as 3 by 8 so we have to follow the same pipe size for this dropper this is what the step 1 in step 2 we have to divide the pipe routing into sections as you can see we have different sections over here 1 2 section 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 so all this routing that we have drawn in the step 1 we have divided this routing complete layout into different pipe sections step 3 assign the water supply fixture units to each fi each fixture as per the table e103.3 of ipc that is international plumbing code in this step what we, what we are doing is there will be some uh, water supply fixture unit for individual fixtures in the case we have a hose bib or a hand spray so what what is the value of water supply fixture unit of that fixture in the case of lavatory what is the wsfu of lavatory so we have assign all those values we have write all the wsfus of individual fixture fixtures say for example for lavatory it is 1.5 where do you get this from the table 103.3 that is on the next slide here you can see for lavatory public it is the cold water supply is 1.5 okay similarly for shower it has written as uh, it has written as 3 okay so for shower if you see over here public the value is 3 so from this table we have assigned the wsfus to each individual fixtures step 4 is write the cumulative wsfu for each section each pipe section okay if you see over here for the section 1 and 2 it is having only 1.5 as the wsfu but for the section 2 and 3 it will be serving this as well as this so 1.5 plus 1.5 it will be 3 for section 3 and 4 this section is serving this fixture as well as this fixture and this fixture so we have to add this this one plus this one plus this one it will be 4.5 so this is how you have to add the cumulative wsfu for each section okay for example uh, for this section 6 to 7 for section 6 to 7 the wsfu is 12 the wsfu is 12 so how did we arrive this 12 so this this pipe is serving these many fixtures two showers and four hand sprays four hand sprays each hand spray is having 1.5 wsfu so these four will be having 1 1.5 into 4 that is 6 wsfu for these plus 6 for these 3 plus 3 6 so 6 plus 6 it will be 12 wsfu so this is how you have to add the cumulative and write it over here for each pipe sections step 5 will be to convert wsfu into gpm using table e103.3 of international plumbing code ipc here if you see in the previous step we have written uh, the wsfus cumulative wsfus 3 4.5 in the previous step 
in this step, which is step five, we have written another that is the flow rate GPM. How did we get this? This we get from the table 103. That means for each WSFU, there is some assigned flow rates GPM. For example, for nine, it is written as 13.7. So if you go to the table on the next page, for nine, the value, this table one E103.3, here it is written as load values. And this is your demand. Load values means WSFUs. And this is your demand. This is in gallon per minute. This is in cubic feet per minute. And this one is for your flush tank. And this one is for your flush valves. Okay. So uh, in our case, we'll be using the flush tanks. The fixtures are of flush tanks. So in our case, and the value, how did we get that for uh, WSFU 9? For 9, it is, uh, it is indicating 13.7. So if you go, go to that, so here it is for 9 WSFU, the flow rate is 13.7. Similarly, for 25.5 WSFU, the flow rate is 23.3. If you go to the table for 25.5, 25.5, I'll take 30. So for 30, it is indicating a flow rate of 23.3 GPM. Okay, for 25.5, I'll take as 30 and 30, it is written as 23.3. So this is how we have written the flow rates, the GPM for each WSFUs. Step six, which is the last step, is to size the pipes. For example, for each section till now, we know the WSFU. We know the flow rate. Here, it, the legend is given. This is the uh, cumulative fixture unit, and this is the flow rate. Based on the flow rate, you have to size that pipe segment. Okay, like for example, in this case, for pipe segment seven to sixteen, we get a pipe size of one one by four. How did we get this? So you must know the flow rate to size the pipe. So the flow rate is twenty three point three. Select the pipe size using IPC pipe sizing chart. So on the next slide, we have a pipe sizing chart. In this pipe sizing chart, you see we have gallons per minute flow rate. Vertical, it is representing the friction loss. These inclined lines, these one, are in, indicating the diameters, three by eight, one by two, three by four, one, so these, these are indicating the diameters. And these inclined lines, this one, are indicating the velocity. One FPS, two FPS, three FPS, four, five FPS. So there are four parameters, flow, velocity, diameter, and friction loss. Friction loss with the vertical lines, diameter with the inclined lines, velocity with this type of inclination and flow with the horizontal, okay? Now, let's see how we have sized the pipe. For example, for this section seven to 16, the flow rate is 23.3 GPM. So go to the chart. 23.3. So if you see in the flow rate, here it is given the flow rate 10, 20, 30, and here we have the velocity 1, 2, 3, 4. So the very first thing is you have to decide the veloc velocity first to size the pipe. So in the in the previous lecture, we have studied that the velocity should not exceed 1.5 meter per second or as 5 FPS. So 5 FPS line is this one. So mark this line. Okay, or else I'll take a this line. Okay, this is your 5 FPS line. 
and the flow rate is 23.3. So 23.3 will lie somewhere over here, right? It will lie somewhere over here. So I'll take a straight line over here. 23.3. So where these two lines are intersecting, we have to check that. Okay, so these two lines are intersecting at this point and this point, this point is between the pipe size one, one by two and this line is for one, one by four. This pipe size is one inch. This pipe size is one, one by four. This pipe size is one, one by two. So this point is between the two pipe sizes, one, one by two, one, one by four. Okay. But it is close to one, one by four. Okay. So that is why we have selected the pipe sizes one, one by four. Let's take another example. For this section five, six, the flow rate is 13.7, 13.7. I'll go to the chart. Here, if you see what was the flow rate, let me check. It was 13.7. So for 13.7, I have to check the pipe size. 13.7, let's draw a horizontal line 13.7 will lie somewhere over here draw a straight line and we know the velocity should be 5 fps so this velocity is so these two lines are intersecting at this point and this point is close to one inches this point is between the two pipe size one and three by four but we have to select the pipe size, which is near to this point. That is one inches. So let's check for 13.3, what is the pipe size? It should be one inches. For 13.7, it is one inches, okay? So this is how all these pipe size, all these segments has been sized, okay?